final match, Alabama series, as for now, but here at Point Clear. We're gonna be playing the back nine at the Azalea course here at Lakewood Golf Club. This is number 10, par four, 422 yards, and we're gonna be cutting it over the water. This is kind of a cool little par four here. It's got some bunkering, and we're just gonna be teeing it high, letting it fly just over the corner. I think that's about perfect. Okay. Cut for him. I think he's going to be fine. Just left of my ball. I've got 111 left. I've got a sand wedge. Front pin. Not much wind at the moment either, so should just be a smooth one. Oh yeah, came back to pin high. All right, Harris has 100 yards on the dot. He's got 58 degree. He said he's gonna try to throw it a little past and have it spin right on back. Heading kind of middle of the green. So bad. I did not discuss which holes Harris gets a shot and a half on. He gets the half a stroke here on 10 and the full stroke on number 12. So Harris came up just a little short there, and I'm up there. Just a little bit. About six feet for Bird. It's a really good putt. He's got about a foot and a half left, that's good. There you have it. That was a big start to match number eight. Love to see the pin slammers early. That moves me one up through one hole. We're on to number 11, our second hole here in match eight. Par five, a really tight, good looking par five, 507 yards. Do kind of want to cut the corner, especially if you're hitting driver, because that bunker there is definitely reachable. Are we rolling? <laughs> I got a driver here on this hole, short par five, risk reward. If you block it out to the right, you're going to go over that fairway bunker. You can go OB. So I'm going to crank it over this big tree, try to hold that line, and get under 200 yards in. I'm doing this one for the people, truly. Hold it. Go hard. I think that's about perfect. I think we're good. If I was in a tournament, I think I'd be hitting a four iron, a draw four iron. This hole is super tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really happy with that driver's swing. I'm kind of right center of the fairway over there. And Harris didn't quite cut the corner on the right line. He is in the rough and was definitely flirting with the out of bounds there. So he didn't need to hit it any further left than he did. He's got 195 left. He's got a four iron. He's going to try to rope it around the trees here. I think it's in that bunker there. All right, so I got 195 here, right back into the wind, uphill, probably playing closer to 220. So I've got a five iron here. That's a good looking shot. Well, it's up there. You absolutely love to see it. About 15 feet here for Eagle. Harris is in the bunker here. He's got some green to work with, but it's probably about a 30, 35 yard bunker shot. So not an easy one. Settle. Nice, sir. All right, we're in with the tweeter. Back-to-back -back pin slammers to start, let's go. 
That's the start we were looking for right there. Two under through two. You'll love to see it. We're on to number 12, our third hole here at match eight. This is Harris's stroke hole. And I will say, you need to win on this hole. I know. Got to win this hole. Got to turn the tide right here. Par four, 432 yards, dog leg to the right. We are gonna be trying to take on that corner a little bit. It's roughly 300 yards to that bunker through the fairway. So anything just right is gonna be pretty good. I think I'm okay. I think that's great. We're not exactly sure how much of the corner we can carry, but I think that's pretty good. Tracing my ball. We are both in great shape. I am right over there, Harris right here, and we just missed the speed slot. There's a slope right here that would give us like another 40. I feel like we probably carried it like five yards in front of where we are, but you carry it 10 more yards. I mean, you just hit your drive about 60, 70 yards further. Right. How we, got, we got 135 though. 135 down the hill. Pin looks pretty accessible. That's a green light special in my book. Mm -hmm. Me and Harris were talking. This is probably our favorite hole on either course so far. Really good layout, kind of risk reward. You're kind of forced into hitting driver, mm -hmm. um, but it's just a really good hole. And looking down here to the green, you can see the whole surface of the green. I love hitting approach shots when you can see the whole surface of the green, especially for Instagram. So let's see if one of us can knock this close and maybe we've got an Instagram post. That looks good. Come back. Uh, maybe a, that wind's not helping as much as I thought. Still a good swing though. I'll take it. Trundled. I landed up right there. Harris in good shape there as well. Harris is about 25 feet and I'm looking at about maybe 12, 15 feet. Dude, good roll. That's it. That's a hole, it just really turns. A little more break than I gave it credit for. That one doesn't matter because Harris gets stroked. The way that that hole just kind of meandered its way down that hill kind of reminded me, I know y'all are going to think this is a crazy comparison, but kind of like an Augusta hole. I, I can't say enough good things about that hole. Number 12, Azalea. Yeah, you can tell on 12 when you step out in the fairway, you're like, yeah, this is a good hole. Like, you just, you just know it. 200 yards right here, hole 13. A little bit into the wind. Elevated some. Probably going to hit a, uh, a six iron, maybe maybe a soft five. That was a really good swing. Get up. Dude, okay. great shot. Thank you. I got a six iron as well. So Harris right there in great shape. I am right here in the rough. I need to land something up there because this is all like sloping away from me. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll take it. Got a few feet left. Through four holes, match number eight, I am two up now. We're on to a super cool par five, number 14, 538 yards, kind of back into the wind, but this hole looks pretty sweet. Bends around to the left, 
kind of just want to keep it down the left side, it looks like. Did not think I was going to be losing that hole. Weird little putt got away from me. Is what it is. down the left side. Ball. Sweet little approach here. What do we got in? 219. 219. Looks like a front pin. Probably gonna have to run something up out of this rough on the right side. I may just hit a five iron pretty hard down the right edge. Heading kind of just right of the green. He's asking for it to turn over. And I've got 197. This rough is super thick. So I've got to get down and get after it. I've got a seven iron. If I make decent contact, it should be enough to get it there. So we both did miss this in the proper place to miss it. However, you know, it's gonna be super quick going down towards this hole here. I'm pin high, Harris is just a few paces short of pin high, and this pin is on the front up here. I think I'm gonna carry it a little bit. So I'll probably just do a standard pitch shot, land it about seven or eight paces in front of the green. But Dude, that's still terrible. pretty good. I mean, you're five feet. No way! That is a par for me. Right, we both got pars there. I remain two up. Got 188, little breeze into. I'm probably gonna go with a smooth six iron. I think Harris is too. Pin looks to be set pretty much right in the middle of the green here. And the left side of the green. We did not play card golf right there. Uh, mine's well right. What a comeback ah. putt right there. That is a sigh of relief. That is a and phenomenal right. two putt though, seriously. Two putt for the ages. I told myself earlier on today, putts around five, six feet, don't play much break. And those last two putts, I gave up the hole when they were both pretty straight and should have just played them straight. However, that's in the past. Harris is only one down now. He got the win there. Number 16, par four, 479 yards. This is a beast of a par four, straight away. That was hit hard down the right side. Oh. Another good one. Go. All right, so Harris was right. He did see it hit the bunker, but thankfully the sand was firm. He hopped through, and you are just fine. Thankfully the sand was a little extra firm in this trap. I think I got one, 167. 
Harris decided to go with the wedge instead of the nine. Got some wind behind me. Downwind and kind of a downslope lie. I think he likes it. It's heading kind of right side of the green. Oh, wow. That's like 30 yards short. Lie is not great. I've got 122 left. Pin up front. I am going to go with the gap wedge here. Kind of get down and get after this. Well, at one point, that was close. That landed really firm. Really happy with the swing, though. I did hang on to the back of the green here. I've got about 30, 35 feet. Harris is a little short. He's probably gonna be needing to land something just off the green. If you enjoy these type of traveling vlogs, matches, drop a like down below. That lets me know what kind of content you like to see. And subscribe as well. Ring that bell, turn them notifications on so you don't miss any future content. And share these videos with your friends. That helps me out a ton and it's greatly appreciated. Let's see if Harris can get this up and down. Let's see if we can't roll the rock. Finish this match off strong. Not too bad. That's good. Pick it up. I remain one up with two to play. We just gotta forget about that. It's in the past, bogeys happen, and three putts happen. It just happened right there. We're on to number 17, par four, 476. Pretty much straight away, we're both going with driver. Good swing. Best swing of the week, finally. Yeah, that was awesome. That was a great ball. Best drive of the week for me. Zach got me by like two yards. You can see where ours landed. It was a good swing. Yeah. You've got 191 left, and I'm a couple yards in front. And pin is just over the bunker right. there. I'm probably going to go with a six iron. Forgot to tell you, that was my first straight ball off the tee I've had the whole week, too. First straight ball. There you go. Down, baby. I was smoked. All right. I, like it. I think I'm gonna hit a smooth six as well. It's getting cool and it is slightly uphill. Folks, that sounded good and that's right at it. And that divot was probably my best iron divot of the week. I guess I should have just gone all out and hit that six iron kind of hard because I'm sitting there staring it down thinking it's just all over it. And I'm 30, 35 feet short. So there's that. Harris is pin high though. And that was a really good shot. That's gotta go, it's gotta go. Got it. Go. Go. Yeah, good putt. <laughs> you just had to say, Scott Sawings wants me, me to hoop this. God, that's annoying. <laughs> I couldn't three putt two holes in a row. We were making that. We were making that. We did. I remain one up. And Scott, thanks for the tip. These closing holes here on the Azalea course are really good holes and beasts. 440, number 18, par four. Pretty straight, bends a little to the right. Kind of want to cut it over that tree right there. Unless you can like get your driver up real high quick, but I'm going to go with a cut aiming at that tree down there. 
hopefully find the fairway and we got a birdie. I think Harris came out of his shoes right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't like being out driven on the last hole, so he no. said, right here, this is my hole. Hey, if you can't make putts, just hit bombs. <laughs> That's a quote right there. Yeah. <laughs> he did. His is a tad straighter than mine. Stop right now. Who hit it further? Let us know. We are in great shape up there. Yes, up there. And Harris is You got here. the speed slot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You got the speed slot, what can I say? Slot. Oh man, he got me by, I would say probably 35, 40. And I kind of came out of my shoes on that one too. Great yeah. drive, dude. Thank you, sir. That was a straight up bomb. He probably is playing 15 yards longer today. I think Zach probably carried that 320. And it probably rolled out to like 335, 340, just cause you're not getting much roll. When I bomb it, I carry it 300. And on average, I carry it 290 but obviously it's shorter today. He absolutely flied me by 30 yards, I'm sure. 168, uphill, probably playing like a four iron right now with this <laughs> weather. I'm gonna hit a uh, 75, I'm gonna hit a seven iron, choke down. Look at that divot. Look at that. And just like plopped it down. I'm an athlete. So Zach's got 138, exactly 30 yards in front of me. A good line. Well, Harris back here about 15 feet and I'm short. Both of those two iron shots on the last two holes I can't complain. Basically hit them how I wanted, and they just weren't really flying as far as I thought they would. Okay, so it's good. Settle. 18 feet feels the best. Dude, what a putt. Let's go, baby! What a putt. <laughs> that was awesome to see. Well, that was a new Pro V, so he will be probably going to pick it it's up. It's right there in the bucket. <laughs> but that was awesome. Great putt. Thanks, bro. Grab the match. Wow. Yes, I know. I'm fired up about a half point. But, guys, you saw how rough it was there for a couple holes. So, to finish with a birdie on 18 against Zach, kind of a dream. Daydream. Not a big-time dream. <laughs> Just a daydream. <laughs> like I said, he was going to pick it up. That, that was just for dramatic effect. Let's go, baby. Pin slammer to finish. Love to see it. Love it. And the series currently stands me with four wins. Harris has one and three ties. As for me, Harris Lakewood Golf Club, the Grand Hotel and Resort. We'll see you when we see you. Peace.